The reforestation strategy for Pioneer was developed using an integrated, holistic process that involves communication with our stakeholders through the Boise Forest Coalition, uh, public meetings, and scoping. It also involved communication through an interdisciplinary environment with um, resource specialists such as fisheries, wildlife, silviculture, botany, recreation, to name a few. There are a variety of tree species on the Boise National Forest, all of which respond differently to disturbances such as wildfire. For example, some tree species such as lodgepole pine have evolved a reproduction strategy that requires some type of heat source like fire to open up its serotonous cones. That seed within the cone can stay viable for many years. So following a large wildfire, lodgepole pine can regenerate hundreds and, and thousands of, of seedlings per acre. Aspen, for example, have a different reproduction strategy where they have roots that can sucker regeneration. So following a wildfire, seedlings can sprout from the root structure. Ponderosa pine, on the other hand, has evolved a wind dispersed regeneration strategy where it requires a tree with cones typically. The cones open up and wind blows the seed roughly 200 feet. As a very simplified example, if there's a wildfire that burns stand replacing, killing all the trees for say a, a mile radius, if ponderosa pine regenerates and blows its seed for 200 feet, a tree will grow six, you know, 60 years until it produces viable seed, and then it'll wind blow another seed, say 200 feet. If you know a mile is uh, is a little over 5,000 feet, that could take. 1500 years to regenerate a forest. Granted, there are a lot of other caveats such as animal dispersal or aspen regeneration or competition from other brush species. The bottom line is there's a lot of uncertainty with, with regeneration of tree species that haven't evolved to the types of disturbances they're being exposed to today. Reforestation or, or planting trees ensures or it expedites forest recovery. Trees provide a variety of ecosystem services. Uh, to a degree, their roots support soil stabilization in the short term, but most of the benefits from, from planting trees are long term, such as fostering clean air, water, aesthetics for rec recreation, wildlife habitat, and those types of things. We're currently growing seedlings at Lucky Peak Nursery to outplant in areas that were burned over and um, in some cases salvage harvested for the Pioneer Fire. Those seedlings will be grown in the nursery for a year and outplanted in the spring of 2019 and those operations will probably continue for another five to ten years.